Hey guys, e 2 here, and welcome back to Trading to Legend Bobby Moore. Today, with episode 2, we've got some brand new trading methods, some great deals, as you can see. The players that we did list up last episode did sell on, and I did go and pick up a selection of deals. We start off with a left forward and catalyst for Rella for 850 coins, list them up for 1.1k right there. We then get a Parfait Williams here, the bronze card for 400 coins. I list them up for 650 for one day. Uh, we then get a Grimaldo, the ex Barcelona left back, I do believe, for 350 coins. We get a Jordan Ibin left forward there for 800. I do list them up for 1.2. Good profit if he does sell on. We then get an Anya, 550 coins in shadow, and I list them up for 700. We get Bangora here, the right mid, in right forward, and Deadeye for 850, list them for 1.2. And finally, we do get a Canopoly Anchor in left forward and Catalyst for 900 coins, and I do list them up for 1.1 thousand coins. You can see here, all those cards did sell on. That leaves me with around about 6,000 coins which is a pretty good already for the second episode. We do manage to make a lot more using those coins right there. And yeah, if you do want to know any of the trading methods I did use in the video, there'll be a link in the description down below. But the next deal we do pick up is a Carrillo, 750 coins in right forward, list them up for 1.2 there for uh, one day. We get an Nkudu, picked him up earlier on in the episode and did sell him on. But now we do get him as a left forward. And uh, yeah, he is in dead eye as well. Only one on the market, and that is 2.5k. I got mine for 950, so I list mine for 1.5 thousand coins for one day. We then get an Ayala, and here there are loads and loads of just non rare silvers that I'm not really going to talk through just because I picked them all up for 150 coins, and I listed them all up for between 200 coins, and I think the most was about 750 coins. But yeah, I did do a trading method on this uh, method right here, I did do a video on it a couple of days ago. Uh, it is uh, a method which you can use with a very low budget and uh, yeah, it was a good kind of method to use once I had about five or six K I just used this to mass bid on loads and loads of silver players and pick them up And uh, I did get a couple of decent players who would sell on for a couple of hundred coins I said the most was about 750 and that was for a left back who gets a hyperlink to the five-star skill at El Yanusi. But uh, yeah, I listed up a lot of these cards for 200 or 250 coins to make about 50 or 100 coins profit on each of those cards And it really does add up when you're picking up so many cards 100 coins on each player it seriously is a lot of coins when you're picking up about 25 of those cards so yeah this method did really kind of get me going off the ground from uh, I had about five or six K it got me up to around the 10,000 coin mark and once you get to there you can start trading within forms and stuff which is the way that you can make a lot of coins very quickly on FIFA 16 and as you can see all those cards did sell on and uh, also did sell on the Carrillo and the Nkudu. I think I had a couple more of these non rare silvers sell on because they do take a day or two to sell on normally. But uh, I think by now all of them have sold on. Um, but as you can see, there are a couple left right here. And uh, I think they do sell on by the end of the episode. But moving into the next batch of deals, we get the first informed deal. And this is an amazing deal here. We get Guitan. Lowest by now, 50k on the market. He's being price fixed though. And he's going for about 10k normally. I got him for 5.4 in the 59th minute. And I list him up right here for 9.9 thousand coins uh, for one day. Now, I wanted him to sell on quite quickly. So that's why I didn't list him for like 30k. Because I knew his price would drop, and according to Footbin, he was going for around about 10,000 coins. We also get a couple of other good deals which you could have seen on screen there, including a Jonas. We get a Lucas here, right mid and catalyst for 950 coins, listing for 1.5. And as you can see, all those cards did sell on, and that leaves me with just under 15,000 coins, which is amazing for the second episode. I mean, last series, I think, it took us about four episodes to get to... Uh, about 15k which is very very good I mean we had that inform deal which was amazing I made about 4,000 coins on him and I did actually have two cards left to sell on there is one more silver player and also that Jonas card but when they do sell on I should have around 16,000 coins which is a uh, very very good I'm very pleased with that and uh, yeah hopefully you guys have enjoyed the video and I will probably have a second video out uh, later on tonight or this might be a second video tonight I might have already brought it out and there's going to be another FIFA 17 uh, informative video but so uh, my summer holidays are coming up I only have four exams left and I've actually got quite a lot of time between those. I've got about two weeks and I've got four exams. I've got three science exams and I've also got a DT exam. Uh, and uh, yeah, I've got a biology exam tomorrow. But after that, I've got five days before my next exam. So loads of videos are going to be coming out. Plenty of double uploads. I've been trying to do some more double uploads recently because I have got quite a bit of spare time in between my exams. But uh, during the summer holidays, literally every day, I'm probably going to be doing double uploads if I can. And yeah, it's just going to be awesome. They'll probably be like over a hundred videos just in the summer holidays coming out right now so hopefully you can get 5,000 subscribers in the holidays it would be amazing if we could hit that target right there 
uh, we actually got uh, 3.5 thousand subscribers a couple of days ago so thanks a lot for the support and I've not really talked kind of to you guys uh, in any of my videos recently because they've been kind of uh, scheduled and stuff so they've not been coming out the day I've recorded them so it kind of just doesn't really make sense when I'm talking about kind of videos that came out and stuff it gets a bit complicated but this video is going to be out today so I thought I would kind of just talk to you guys for a bit and uh, just kind of update you with kind of things that you will see on the channel also I actually uh, ordered a 4k action camera very similar to a GoPro uh, a couple of days ago and it's actually arrived so I'm going to be using that to record some football videos I have also got a football montage coming out which it was meant to be my 3000 subscriber special then I did kind of like a reacting to old videos video for that instead but I'll try and get it out for 4000 subscribers because we'll probably get that in like two weeks or so so by then I will have finished this uh, kind of football montage I'm making it's full of like amazing free kicks that me and my friends have scored and uh, yeah I've really been kind of practicing my technique and I can do some decent knuckleballs and uh, also curl free kicks and stuff like that so stay tuned for that as well as many other in real life football videos me and my friends are going to be recording loads of different challenges and stuff like that crossbar challenge penalty challenge free kicks all sorts of things like that. I might also do kind of some skill tutorials because I'm not really the best at football but I can do some pretty decent skills. I can do like rainbow flicks and stuff so I might kind of do a montage of that or maybe a little skill tutorial or something like that. But anyway, this video has gone on for a while now just because I've been talking about uh, some stuff kind of bringing you guys a bit of news that you can expect on the channel in the next uh, couple of weeks. But anyway, really hope you guys have enjoyed and I'll see you in my next video. Take care.